Today, 36 new cases were announced. While the majority of these cases continue to be linked to overseas travel in some way, I can also confirm, as did the Director General of Health, that we have two cases where public health officials have been unable to find how they came in contact with COVID-19. On that basis, we now consider there is transmission within our communities. If community transmission takes off in New Zealand, the number of cases will double every five days. If that happens unchecked, our health system will be inundated and tens of thousands of New Zealanders will die. In short, we are all now preparing as a nation to go into self-isolation in the same way that we have seen many other countries do. Staying at home is essential. It's a simple but highly effective way to constrain the virus. It denies it a place to go and will help give our healthcare system a fighting chance. As time goes by in isolation, each passing day feels like a rewind of the previous day. It's like I'm stuck in an endless loop, hoping when I wake up to a new day, it would be different. I would have a river of thoughts flowing in my head. I'd look out my window from time to time and think to myself, if I were out there, what would I be doing today? I asked myself one night, is everyone feeling the same way I do? When will this end? What if it never ends? For each of those thoughts, I was hoping someone would answer. But in the end, all I got is silence. Time passed by and nothing ever changed. I was doing the same things over and over again. I became someone who I didn't want. Who I didn't accept fully. It came to the point where I lost somebody, somebody who was very close to my heart, somebody who was special to me, and that somebody was none other but myself. I spent lots of hours and days hating for what I've become. closed my eyes. It was dark as I expected, but at least it was peaceful. I could hear familiar voices and laughter from afar. I tried searching for it by focusing on them. And then, this memory started playing in front of me. As if I have escaped from reality, by imagining myself in a situation where I get to be happy. It felt like I was there all over again, in my past self's point of view. I'd encounter joyful moments and also mistakes I wish I never made. I couldn't do anything about it to correct myself. As I sat there and watched, I couldn't help myself but smile. I came to the realization that these bright smiling people are the reason why I'm holding on. The reason why I'm sticking around. Everyone heard of horseback. <laughs> I think everyone heard of horseback. Momentarily, I thought of the larkspur, my birth month of July's flower. The larkspur symbolizes a strong bond of love. It signifies an open heart, an ardent attachment 
and the celebration of positivity. It came to me as if it were to tell me that I have found myself to tell me that the cold winter has dawned and the colorful return of life is ready to bloom once more.